Dave here, how are you? And welcome to What's in Arthur's Toolbox, episode number 16. And as promised, the number 12 Stanley scraper plane. It looks a bit different to a lot of planes. It's got a beautiful handle across the top. It has an adjusting wheel here to be able to change the angle. It has a blade clamp here. So this is basically a cabinet scraper and all the clamp does is lock the scraper into this plane body. These things have a burr pulled up on them, the blade that is. I'm going to undo it and take it out. Now I'm not going to pull it straight out of the top because the burr is at the bottom. We don't want to destroy that. So we push it down. There's the blade and if you look very carefully I think you will see that it says Stanley. Just here, I can feel it, there's a burr. I pulled a burr up on that. And a lot of people will say cabinet scrapers need to have a flat edge for you to pull the burr up. Well, that's true. But I've been reading in a book that I've purchased since I started doing this, this series, and they said a chair maker does things slightly differently. Chair maker scrapers have a 60 degree bevel on the end of the scraper and then they pull the burr on that which is great because this already had a 60 degree bevel when I opened it up. So it's a little discovery tour. The angle of, oh sorry, and when you replace it you must put the scraper back in the bottom of the body of the plane so you don't destroy the burr. There's not much to it. It's, it's a clamp so this thing, when you put the blade, the blade in the bottom, you tighten that up, forces the card scraper against the, I don't know, the support, I guess we'll call it, that's hinged in the bottom of the body there of the plane. And then, as I was saying, we've got these guys here. Now I can adjust that. I'll just pull it up quickly which means this part here can go backwards. See that? That's pretty cool. Do it this way, do it again. See, you got all this movement. Now I can have it move all the way back or forwards. They say it's around about 25 degrees for a Stanley number 12. And it's just a matter, as I say, of moving that further back. Why use this instead of an ordinary plane? Well, it allows you to go over uh, veneers. That's what, I think that's what they were for in the first place. It's a veneer scraper, is what they're called. So veneers are very thin. You didn't want to run the risk of the plane digging in because the blade's down at such an angle and getting a hold on pulling the veneer up. These guys are just simply doing that. Now, can you see all that dust there that I just pulled up? So that's what they do. But in that body there. I'll, I'll put it in the body and we'll have a look. Feed it in from the underside and make sure I've got the burr facing towards the front. I can sit the plane like that, push down, and push down on the handle and push down on there and tighten. The blade is set. How quick is that? Now the matter of where we set the, the angle. Well, if I were to turn that slowly, hear that? And then pull the back, wind the back one up. Now I can use it it's never going to lift or chew into the material. It's just going to keep on scraping across the top. There you go. Number 12 uh, veneer scraper plane from Stanley. And if you want to throw in comments about it, that's great. The more the merrier. Throw them in. Tell me if you've got one. Um, tell me if you've got the next one on from this. I think there's another version of the 12. Okay, up here, all the social media again. Subscribe to the channel. It's good fun. This is a great series. Next week, I haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what we're doing next week. But make sure you come back and uh, see what's happening. Thanks a lot. See you next time.